Hey everybody, Jim Deedlow, host of Jed in the Region here on AM 1230 WJOB. Also announced a lot of football, basketball, baseball, a soccer match once in a while, a swim meet, wrestling meets. And out of all the sports that I do all year long, uh, perhaps the greatest honor is to sit at the Hammond Sports Hall of Fame once a year and interview the inductees. Here it is, 2015. And I'm especially honored to uh, sit with a guy I've known for uh, the better part of three and a half, about better part of four decades almost at this point. And I'll just go right to it. Steve Stanek. How you doing, Steve? Doing good, Jed. Very good. Thank you. A little tanned up. What more the weather's warm out in Arizona. I, I fell for you this and, winter. And he's all dressed up, man. Look at this Yeah, guy. no safety Steve outfit today. No safety Steve outfit. Steve, of course, has appeared over the years on the air with me as Safety Steve with his safety tips. Also uh, coached at Munster when I was in there. And uh, Steve, I'm going to read what um, our good friend Wes Lukosius wrote about you. Before achieving prominence as a road racer, racer and fitness enthusiast in the in the 80s and 90s. He earned 20 varsity letters in track, cross country, swimming, soccer, and football at Hammond Tech. The former school distance running record uh, setter ran professionally on road teams and headed the Calumet Region Running Club in the 80s and 90s. Steve Stanek, congratulations. Thank you so much, Chad. How's it feel right now? You're quite honored. It's a, it's a good honor to be back home. It's an honor to be inducted to the Hammond Hall of Fame. And um, it's an honor to be sitting next to you with, uh, with the radio station here. Well, now that we've done that, uh, you know, back and forth about all this honor going back, what are you doing now? Where do you live? I'm actually retired. I'm living in Waddell, Arizona, and uh, just enjoying training in the mountains. I get up every morning and run 13 miles in the morning, catching some baseball games when I can, and I'm doing quite a bit of golfing, and enjoying life as we speak right now, and I'm kind of getting bored, so I'll probably be looking for some employment real soon. i got a couple interviews coming up, so just to do something to keep me busy. So, I, of course, you were a fireman for how many years? 24 years, uh, the Hammond Fire Department. 24 years at the Hammond Fire Department. All right, so let's go back. You're at Hammond Tech, which you it's know gone. what? It's gone. Yeah, it's, it's like not a, here anymore, but you are at 20 letters. What in Sam Hill would make you want to work that hard to make that? Well, effort? actually, you know, a lot of, uh, if there's any credit to go to anybody, it's a good dear friend of mine, Pete Corrales from Hammond High. I went to middle school with him. That's where all the athletics uh, started right there. And Pete was quite the athlete that everybody looked up to. I always wanted to be Pete Corrales. And he was nice enough to take me to his wing, teach me about basketball, but I traveled so much. Coach Walker told me, pack my bags and go out for wrestling. So I started wrestling at Edison. And, and I wanted to go, I didn't want to go to Hammond High because I didn't want to be in anybody else's footsteps anymore. So I went to Hammond Tech. And in this very outside of the Civic Center was football practice. And they had you run a mile in full turnout gear. Well, I set the school record for the freshmen in full gear. And at that time, the coach said, we're going to make a deal with you. If you run cross country, we'll let you play football too. He so, said, you're good enough to play varsity football and we'll bring you on. So it's uh, football. How did swimming get thrown into this? Well, actually, uh, I didn't make the basketball team again for the high school team. I wanted to go up for Tech wrestling. Tech had some really good teams oh, back then. Th 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 that is not, I mean, a lot of guys trying out. That was no oh, great. It was, yeah. it was like a professional team. Those yeah. guys were that good. Mm -hmm. And one of my track coach told me, he said, why don't you try swimming? It'll keep you healthy. It's actually like running in the wintertime. And the main thing, it'll keep you out of trouble. I says, all right. I was scared to death to swim the 500. We practiced at Eggers School because Tech never had a swimming pool. So it was either there, here, or Hammond High. And there was no way I could swim the 500 because I wasn't that great of a swimmer. But I had enough strength where I could do the butterfly. Swam the butterfly, and I qualified for the regionals and earned another letter in swimming. And uh, so you're talking uh, track, cross country, swimming, soccer, and football at Hammond Tech. Then you went on to uh, run and uh, be with the Calumet Region Running Club and so forth. So the running has basically been part of your life all the way through? Absolutely. Running has opened so much doors for me, Jimmy. Job opportunities that opened up for me. I was able to run professionally. I was lucky enough to come on at the time when the running shoe companies were starting to give contracts out to athletes. I was that first group of athletes that received a, a running shoe contract. So I was running professional. I was making about 10000 a year running. And it was, you know, back then it was good money just for running and the opportunity to run and race all over the United States. And now, the, uh, as a matter of fact, Steve gave me a recent pair of shoes uh, that I thought were too large. And you said, no, 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 just try them on. And it turns out, I got to tell you this, it turns out uh, I'm running in them. I'm telling my wife, 
from coming back and I'm like, you know, honey, my feet don't hurt anymore. So I finally go get my feet professionally measured and I'm like, you know, these shoes are too big for me, but I'm running in them and uh, now my feet don't hurt. And she measured my foot. She goes, dude, you, all your running life, you've been wearing shoes that are too small. <laughs> and so if I, I think you gave me what you well, thought I should have. And uh, so, I mean, you know your game. And, and now I'm, I've, I've actually kicked up a whole size in the shoe that I buy to go running in. And it's kind of weird. It's like buying a car. Would you put small tires on a car that didn't properly fit? And your body's the same way. And it'll adapt. And I also played soccer, too. And you also That's played soccer. So let's go back to that. You mentioned Pete Carlson. I mentioned some of the other guys that you ran with. Well, there were so many guys around with uh, Rudy Chapa, who took me underneath his wing. There was uh, the guys from Hammond Tech. There was Bobby Cinco, Dino Mantis, who is now a dentist, uh, Mark Udis. And then we had the guys, my good friends from Bishop Knoll, uh, Richie Garza. Him and I competed because we I was the indoor uh, like short conference champion as a sophomore. He was the outdoor conference. So we competed back and forth. Uh, Roland Perez. Uh, there's guys from the guys from Morton, uh, Jeff Gardner, and then the guys I met. I met so many runners throughout the region, and we all stuck together. We knew one thing, Jimmy. When the race started, you were on your own. But prior to that, we were all friends. Great client, Ed Schuster from Hammond, Hammond High, uh, Timmy Keel, and Kerry's the one who actually from Hammond High took the most time to work with me. Kerry Pinkowski. Kerry Pinkowski, who's now the race director of Chicago Marathon, and he's done so much for me with running. And he's the one who told me that I would go far running if I listened to him. You know, it's uh, odd. You bring up some big names there. Kerry Pinkowski, Rudy Chapa, Keo, uh, some of the other guys, Gardner and so forth. It really was kind of a heyday for running in the 70s in, in Hammond. Actually, I mean, there were, the national spotlight was on this area. What it was like, it, exactly, because we had some really good, we had three high school kids in the nation who ran under nine minutes. That record stood for over 30-some years. You had two coaches from Hammond Tech that were running the Boston Marathon, Coach Jamros and Coach Lenvorsky was running the Boston Marathon before anybody heard of it. And our conference was so tough. Everybody says, well, did you go to the state meeting track? I said, no. I ran a 420 mile and, you know, barely placed in a conference meet when you run against Rudy Chap, who's running a 408, 405 mile. That, there was a lot of there was so much talent in the 70s and in the uh, early 80s in the region. Now you've uh, gone and you know, you're living in uh, in Arizona and the Cubs are not too far from you. Yeah, actually the Sox are 13 miles from me and the Cubs are close by. So every morning I get up, uh, we stop down. I watch the Sox practice. I talk to Jeff Samarja, a very friendly guy, real nice. And oddly enough, during spring training, those guys are so nice. It, they're quite different than if you were to go to the uh, ballpark where they play. But during spring training, you can literally reach over the fence and you can talk to them and. What a great atmosphere. Samarja so sometimes is portrayed as somebody who's not all that approachable. You disagree with that? I disagree 100% with that. You know, you'll say hi to him. First, I start a conversation off to say, hey, Jeff, good luck to you this year. I'm glad you're in a region, a region boy from Campbell Street. Right away, he turned around and he knew what I was talking about. Campbell Street. He goes, what do you know about Campbell Street? I go, I'm from the region where you're from. I said, and I said, we got to get you on WJOB. And he assured me, he goes, I'll do all I can do for the region. Super nice guy. You guys remember on the, on the air here at WJOB, came on as safety Steve so you got to leave us with a safety tip my friend well absolutely it's this is the time of weather where you better start getting your sunglasses when you're driving because the sun is starting to hang up there a little bit longer in the evening make sure you have windshield wiper clean wipers and you have your tires fully filled and always keep water in your car you never know always the same dude whether he's a fireman or a running instructor or bugging Jeff Samarja on the sidelines he's the same dude I'm so glad that you're getting inducted this is uh, and Jim, you know what? I want, before I even walk away, I want, in the, I want to personally tell you that one of the biggest honors I had was you believing in me and let me on the radio like you did. That meant a lot to me, and thank you so much. I'll never forget that. There you go. It's, it's kind of odd that you say that because every once in a while someone would come up to me and go, are you sure you want to let that stand up guy have the microphone? <laughs> I told, him tonight I'd be, and I told him tonight I'd be real short. Uh, yeah, I, I, I trust him. He'll be fine. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. AM 1230 WJOB.